Hello and welcome. My name's Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind the Country Chic Cottage. So today we're gonna do some more metal etching with the Cricut Maker. So I'm gonna use the Cricut Maker 3, but you can definitely use the original Cricut Maker for this as well. So my last metal etching video, I did metal etched bracelets and you all loved those. So we're gonna do some more engraving today with the engraving tip on some ring dishes. So what I've made are a few ring dishes and you can make them just by themselves, little bitty ring dishes, put your ring in while you're doing the dishes, or you can make them like two-sided, double-sided, glue them together and raise them up a little bit. Plus, as a bonus, I'm gonna make some rings as well using the same technique that I used to make the bracelets. So first, let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna need. So here are the supplies you're gonna need and bear with me, it's quite a bit. So I'm gonna use my Cricut Maker 3. You can also use the Cricut Maker, but it does need to be a maker for the engraving tip, which we're gonna use with the quick swap housing. Then we are going to use, the blanks we're gonna use are stamping blanks from a press art. I'm gonna use a one and a half inch, and then one that's somewhat smaller. In this case, it's one and a quarter. One inch would work fine. I'm gonna use the ones made out of Alchemy. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it is their version of sterling silver. You could also use their aluminum blanks, it would work as well. And then, once we get it engraved, we are going to make it into a ring dish with their dapping kit, as well as hammer kit. And then we're using two sizes, you don't have to, but I'm gonna add a base to the ring dish to raise it up a little bit. And to do that, you will need a stamping block. And some type of adhesive, I recommend this GS Hypo Cement, and I'll link to that below. Then you'll need a strong grip mat, as well as strong grip transfer tape, because we're gonna try a little something different to hold these on the mat in order to get our engraving. So let's head to Cricut Design Space and take a look at the designs. Okay, for these ring dishes, this is what you need to do in Cricut Design Space. First of all, you will need a single line file of some sort. So a file that draws, and then you would change those draw lines to engrave lines in Cricut Design Space. Now to do that, you will wanna make sure that Maker is chosen as your machine, or in our case, I'm actually gonna use my Maker 3. Maker or Maker 3 will both work for this project. So in order to slice out the circle and just have the circle for engraving, I will need to, like this is a bunch of different layers, I'm gonna go ahead and need to make this one layer. So what I'm gonna do is pick everything and click weld. Okay, now as you can see, that's one layer with my pattern or design. And now I can bring my circle over, put that into place however I would like it. And I'll probably like pick both and do a line center. And then I'm going to click slice. And then I wanna get rid of everything that's outside of my circle. So I have my engraving. So then I can get rid of everything that's not my actual engraving. So now I have an engraved circle that's the exact size as my blank. I can make that a little larger if I wanted to, like to account for like any misalignment. So I may, might make it a 1.6, and that way it'll count for a little bit of misalignment if need be. I feel like the pattern relies most on the alignment factor. So now let's take a look. The next thing I imported was a SVG that had like a bunch of leaves in it and they were all single line file, so I was able to change those to engrave. Again, you'll do that up here. Make sure Maker or Maker 3 is chosen, and then I put those on a circle. So I don't really need the circle in this case, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that, and then I'm going to attach these together, and I'm gonna delete off the ones I didn't use out of that set. So now I have three pieces that will go on a circle. Then I also wanted to cover if you wanted to add text to your ring dish. And to do that, you would need to type your text. And to do to add text that works for engraving, what I like to do is go up here, go to Cricut Fonts, Filter, and pick Writing Fonts. And those will usually engrave really well. Go ahead and type your text as I have here get it like you want it. And this um, font is BFC French bread, if anyone is wondering. I went ahead and changed that to writing and engrave as the operation. And then I'm gonna pick both of these 
and I'm gonna align center just to see like everything looks pretty good, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the circle off. We don't need the circle at all. We are fine with just the writing. And so now I'm going to click make it. We get here and we're gonna pick on mat. And now we have all of these on one mat. Now we're gonna place our circles in different areas on the mat and I will show you how to do that. And what you'll need to do is drag these and move them to the location on the mat wherever you put your circles. So wherever we end up locating our circles, I will drag and drop my pieces into place in order to get them located correctly. Now you can locate your circle on your mat with the lines, so I could locate it with the lines so it would be like this, or I could locate it on a center line so I would need to put it on a center like this. And it just like depends on how you would like to do it. And I do have um, instructions on checking the location on your maker on a different video and I will leave a link for that video in the description below. So be sure to head there if you're having trouble locating your design on your blank. Then once we have it all located, everything's on our mat, we'll just click continue. And I just wanna note when I sliced this one, it did, um, not make it an engrave, it made it a cut. So I'm gonna go back, pick engrave for that. So now engrave is on everything. So be sure to double check and make sure engraving's on everything. Then we'll click make it. Then you'll wanna move again your pieces around, make sure they're located correctly with the blanks that you've located on your mat. Then click continue. And then at this point, we're gonna pick our materials. If you'll click browse on materials, the compatible materials will be what is available for you. And you should see aluminum sheets. So you have aluminum sheets, aluminum, brass, bronze, and stainless steel. This material is most like stainless steel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick stainless steel from the options and click done. And now it tells me to load my engraving tool in clamp B and press the load unload button. So let's head to our maker and see what happens. So the first thing you wanna do is take strong grip transfer tape. It must be the strong grip and we are going to place it face down on the mat wherever we're gonna put our blinks. So I'm gonna put them approximately in this area and then you wanna peel that backing paper back and we're leaving the sticky portion of the transfer tape on the mat. And then we wanna locate our blinks. So remember when we were in design space, I said you could locate them however you want. So I'm gonna locate at the one and two inch mark here, and I'm gonna move my designs in Cricut Design Space to where they will be located in the same area. So you just wanna press it down really well. So I'm using this as an alternative so we can hopefully go all the way to the edge of these ring dishes. So the first one I located at the one and one inch mark then the four and one inch mark, and now the seven and one inch mark for my last one. And now I will head to Cricut Design Space and move these to where they are exactly located where my blanks are on my mat. And I'm just pressing each one down really well to make sure that it's stuck. Now that everything's located on my mat and in Design Space, I've added my engraving tip with the quick swap housing to the clamp and I've moved my white star wheels all the way over to the right. So move all the star wheels over to the right. And then we just wanna click the load unload to load our mat. And then once it's loaded, we'll just click the go button to start the engraving. And then once your engraving is done, you're just gonna click the button to remove the mat from the machine. And now let's take a look at finishing these ring dishes. First, there may be some small bits on the top and you can just rub those off with your finger or you can use the transfer tape and kind of go over the top and pick those up either way. And then to get these off your mat, I recommend just lifting the transfer tape and then peeling them back. Then you can stick them one time to make sure everything is off and you can start to see your engraving now. So let's talk about making this pop out a little bit more before we turn it into a ring dish. 
Then we're just going to use a stamp enamel marker to darken this engraving up a little bit. This one is in black, but they do make different colors. And all you do is draw on where the engraving is, allow it to dry a couple minutes, and wipe off the excess. The marker ink will stay down in the engraving and make it even darker than it already is. So I'll let this dry a few minutes and then wipe it off. Then once this is dried just a few minutes, I'm just going to wipe off all the excess and you can probably already see that that engraving stands out a lot more with the ink down inside so I'll just repeat for all of our other dishes all right so let's walk through the steps of turning these into a ring dish so I'm gonna start with the think happy so this is the dapping kit I'm gonna put it into the holder on this side and then we're gonna use this plastic end on this side I'm gonna put it approximately in the middle and we're gonna hit it several times and it will eventually conform to the bottom of this dish and you can move it around making it concave and into a ring dish and eventually you'll get something that is concave and formed up into a dish. Now, I said we're gonna add some height to these and I'm gonna do that with a blank that is slightly smaller and I'm gonna repeat the same process with this blank and make it concave in the same manner. All right, so now I have my two pieces and I wanna put them together but there needs to be like a flat area to put them together so I'm gonna change out my hammer tip and you just Unscrew it and this this tip will come out And then you add this tip in notch down and just screw this in to hold it into place So this tip is flat and it's plastic So it's not going to mar my surface at all and I'm just going to add a flat area to the top of each of these And then we'll make a flat area on the back of this one and we can flip it over put it on top of the smaller one and add some cement to hold those two together. So I'm going to add glue between the two and that way your rings go in the top and this bottom piece adds some height to lift it up off of the table. All right, so why not make some rings to go with this while I'm doing this? So I followed the same procedure as my bracelets and I'll link that tutorial below, except for the fact that I used the strong grip transfer tape again on the mat because I felt like it worked really well and it worked well for the um, rings as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the enamel on them to make the engraving pop and then use this form tool that comes with the kit to form them up into rings. So here are my rings all formed up and now I can just drop those into my ring dishes. So these ring dishes are complete. So I wanted to show you that this one I did not add the base to. So on this one I just flattened the bottom slightly and then you can just set that right on your table and you have a ring dish ready for your rings wherever you would like them. All right, so now we have completed ring dishes, all with our Cricut Maker 3 and that engraving tip. So I hope you got some good ideas, possibly for gifts for the holidays with this video. It's actually really easy to engrave that metal with your Cricut Maker or Cricut Maker 3 once you get the hang of it. And then like the possibilities are wide open. Like there are a ton of different blank options that you can go with, with the engraving tip and your Cricut Maker and just make all the things. So I hope this helped you. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, I know it was a lot of steps, please ask this in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.